So I'm here with Philip Boutet, who is at Comic-Con, and he is a costume illustrator. What's a costume illustrator do? A uh, costume illustrator, I work directly with the costume mm -hmm. designer, and they come up with designs for, you know, what your favorite characters will be. Um, and then I translate them into illustration format. Oh, wow. And you are working on some very big movies. Yes. Right? You've yes. done Twilight. Yes. Uh, and then you also have coming up, though, you've done Star Trek. Yes. And then coming up, you have Man of Steel. Man of Steel, yes. Wow. Uh, and also Hansel and Gretel. And Hansel and Gretel, yes. Right. So Man of Steel. Everyone wants to know about Man of Steel. Right. Do all your friends try and ask you to show them the costume designs? Yes, they do. <laughs> they do. Um, there's a, there was a big controversy. At least now with the pictures being out, you can see that Superman mm -hmm. has now ditched the red underwear. Yes. How how did you feel about the controversy? Uh, I thought it was great. I, I mm -hmm. thought it was great. Um, we went back and forth with trying to figure out if he should have them or if he shouldn't. And the biggest factor was is that in this world, which I think I can say, Superman's an alien. He comes from a different planet. Mm -hmm. So we thought that the underwear kind of made him feel like he's from here. And we wanted that's a, 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 an Earth thing. An Earth an, thing. On Earth, yes. superheroes wear underpants. Exactly. <laughs> so we just thought we may get rid of it and give him a little bit more sleeker look and make him look a little bit alien, but still recognizable as what you know him to be. Did you take into account the New 52 design at all? Because that, uh, the DC Comics New 52, they have more of an armor getup. No. Warren Manser worked really hard with... Uh, with Michael Wilkinson on coming up with the actual design of mm -hmm. Superman's suit um, oh, wow. and trying to make sure that it was alien enough. Oh, know? okay. But like somewhat, somewhat still reminiscent. Is that what the what detailing is? is? He has like silver detailing yeah. on his suit, right? Yes. So the detailing is basically coming from that's from his world. I can't say too much about his costume, okay. but right. it, it, I think that that'll kind of bring it. That's very yeah. exciting. And so you design all the costumes for the film and work on that and illustrate them and bring. I them? worked mainly on Kryptonians. Ah, oh, then you're the guy to talk to. Yes. I work <laughs> mainly on Kryptonians. They uh, definitely are unlike anything you've seen before. Wow. Um, and the other Supermans really don't have a factor as to, or don't play into how we approach this one. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. Yeah. Without giving anything away, who has your favorite costume in the movie that uh, you've seen? I... W I it's hard. Ooh, that's a good problem. That's a good problem. Uh, I, I will say I, I do like the, super, the new Superman costume a lot. You do? Mm -hmm. um, and the villains. The oh, villains yeah. are amazing. Oh, because they're really under wraps. Yes. So that's perfect because my next question is about CGI. And the main uh, villain in the film, General Zod, I know is largely CGI. Right? So how do you feel about that? And with, with movies going in that direction, do you feel that CGI costumes are cool, or do you think the cloth and the building the costume is important? I think building the costume is definitely important. I'm always uh, an advocate for about 80% practical, mm -hmm. you know, 20% 20, uh, 20 CGI. Um, but if it's done in the right way, if CGI is able to bring character, then I'm all for it. It just depends on the context for me. And do you help design the CGI costumes? No. No, okay. There's so. other illustrators that are working on those things. Like we had uh, Keith Christensen and we had Constantine Securis, Ed Natividad, um, a few others, just kind of working really hard on trying to get those costumes together. Um, but it's collaborative. It goes back and forth between the designer, the illustrator, the director. Everyone kind of has a piece of it. And it's, it's really fun. That's really exciting. Yeah. And also with Hansel and Gretel, right? That's coming out. Let's push back a little bit. There are so many fantasy movies these days. Mm -hmm. How do you make uh, that one unique with the costumes? Uh, that one, they really tried to go Grimm's fairy tale with it, um, but worldly. So I worked primarily on witches. Oh, you get all the best assignments. It was a fun, it was a fun <laughs> thing because the witches in that one are from different places. So you have witches from Africa. Africa and which is from Iceland and which is from and Hansel and Gretel are witch hunters and they're witch hunters. Right. So there's a coven that's meeting and there's all these witches and I can't say much else about it's like it. Like people like would like yeah. Twilight to be. Yes. Right. Yes. That's awesome. And okay. they each have their own kind of uh, specialty, I guess. Ah. So you'll see which is uh, that. Uh, their powers are based on where they Did come from. Did you have from. a favorite witch costume? Uh, I liked the tall witch. It was okay. one of the ones that I worked on, and I really enjoyed it. It was with costume designer Marlene Stewart, mm -hmm. um, and we had a great time creating that character. It's one of the first witches that they run into in the movie. Okay, so we'll know to look for her. She's yes. definitely tall. We won't miss her? She's the, you definitely won't <laughs> miss her. You'll know what you're yes. saying. Like, that is the tall witch. You will not miss her. <laughs> so actually, I happen to know another costume illustrator. Yes. Uh, I read a comic book called Superbia, and my artist, Russell Donnerman, is a costume. Russell. You know Russell. I worked with Russell on Captain America. Oh, that's great. Right, yes. What a small world. Is it a small industry? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, it's that's very, awesome. very, very small and very contained. Oh, that's awesome. And so, <laughs> so Russell is a comic book artist. Mm -hmm. Do you work in any other mediums? Uh, not necessarily in other mediums. I do work as a production designer for a music video. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. So I've done some music videos like Panic at the Disco and a few others. Um, and I also like to draw my own. 
um, and design things for, you know, uh, different costumes for I people. I was on your and, website last night. Yes. And I saw that you had some cool pictures with some celebrities on yes. the, the sets, right? Yes. And also some costumes. Yes. Those are just that you just come up with? Like you had like a warrior alien princess kind of a costume? That, that was, that was actually for uh, my friend Constantine Securis. His book is coming out right now. It's called Metamorphics. And I did a piece for him and put it in on my website, um, and it's in his book. Oh, how nice! So please so, go out and support it. So, what's your? What's your? <laughs> it's a comic book. No, it's a it's uh, a book about uh, creature design, concept design, oh, and costume illustration. Oh, that's great! Yes. Oh, is it on sale now? Yes. Oh, perfect! And how does someone go to your website? My website is modusmaleficium.blogspot.com, oh, <laughs> <laughs> which is good mischief in Latin. So if you can find me, just Google my name and it'll come up. Check it out, and you got a little bit of insight on Man of Steel and Hansel and Gretel.